Now, speaking of jobs, Dan, I know that we have, of course, mentioned this before, but I want to remind everyone watching just how long you've been. I feel like it's I guess it's my duty to let you know how long you've been working here at TOL. A long time. Forever? I mean, kind of. Uh, I started here in 1980. Ah. Uh, so this is 2024, my 44th mm. year at WTOL. But I think I've still got some tread left on the tiger. I would argue yes, <laughs> which is amazing. Um, and so on this week's Flashback Friday, we're going to look back on a story where we aired about 20 years ago in 2004. Hardworking guy, Jerome Wachinski. Remember him? Okay. Maybe. <laughs> or ski, he was known to friends. He celebrated 60 years of service at Jeep. So News 11's Joe Nugent was there and he showed us the celebration. Mugsy and Mugsy. Changing them names. Though. Jerome Wazinski's nickname is Ski. He even wears Everybody it on his jacket, more, more, but more. he really doesn't need to. Jerome Wachinski, he's, uh, he's the last of, a, last of the breed. You're not gonna find um, many people with 60 years seniority and uh, all the, uh, uh, the things he's been through throughout the years. Today, Daimler Chrysler honored him with this picture. They'll hang inside the factory and another drawing he'll be able to take home. It, that ski with every one of the companies that there you go. he's worked for and or outlasted. <laughs> Good. He's just a special person that you warm up to him. You know, he has the ability to make you feel, you know, part of the family. He doesn't miss work at all, and um, he's just uh, he's just a diehard jeeper. Ski started in 1944 with his dad and brother. Now, 60 years later, he doesn't know when to quit. I really, really, really don't know. I don't know. We'll all miss him when he decides to retire. We're all going to miss him. He's a definite icon to this place. His family is very proud. All this technology coming in is unbelievable. If my daddy would see this, he wouldn't believe it. And most don't even believe Ski is still working. Thank you for listening. And I love my Jeep. I love my work. In North Toledo, Joe Nugent, News 11. Yay! Enjoy seeing the story. Love seeing Joe Nugent there. Now, he and his family were neighbors of mine in, mm -hmm. uh, back in the 90s. I got him into our newsroom working for me part-time in sports and he nice. became a eventually a news reporter Just here went on to become a, well now he's sports director down in uh, columbus and one of the tv oh. stations down there so well, there you go. Uh, joe has done very well for himself in, in a television career good yeah. to see that flashback now we know so many of you love to watch old stories from the wto 11 archive if you haven't had a chance yet be sure to check out the wto 11 vault special playlist on our youtube channel I want to thank Joe Weaver, by the way, who works here for producing all these out of our archives. Yeah. Now, new in the vault this week, take a trip back in time with the third grade class from Lake Elementary School. News 11's Jocelyn Mose, as they experience a school day in a historic one-room schoolhouse. Dick Barry tells us why there were so many pink Cadillacs in downtown Toledo back in the spring of 1990. And those stories and more are all available to watch right now on WTO 11's vault. You need to check it out. It's super fun.